The emissions gap reports have become a flagship for the United Nations Environment Programme. They capture what countries are doing, but what they must do to avoid dangerous climate change effects. This year's report comes at a very critical moment because countries will come together to negotiate and to think about just what they are going to do to mitigate the effects of climate as we go forward towards a warming world. The report is made of inputs from experts, from models, from data, from analysis, and what it shows very clearly that we have to try harder, but there is an urgency about what we have to do collectively. Of course, it will come from national institutions and from legislation. But very importantly, it points to how everyday citizens can recognize what they can do in terms of big areas of improvement, such as in energy efficiency. The report brings not only expert opinion and expert analysis together, but really tries to situate it in such a way to show the opportunities that exist and not merely to say we haven't done enough. And so in going forward over the next 18 months, this report will provide a bedrock of analysis whereby we can encourage initiatives, whether they're done internationally or at the national level, to really complement what is done in the national setting of action plans and so forth. But the report holds sway because from its very beginning, it comes with a very simple message. We are simply not doing enough. We're simply not doing it quickly enough so that every year counts and every ton of carbon also counts if we are to make this world a safe place in the future and meet the target of having carbon neutrality or climate neutrality, zero net emissions within our lifetime.